Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, it's your girl Tina. I hope you guys are doing good today. So today it's time for an episode of I Don't Give a Shit News, okay? I know I haven't done this in years, but I'm telling you these two stories, I just don't give a shit about them anymore, okay? So if you guys do not know, Almighty J finally broke up with Black China. He took to Snapchat to let the world know that they are no longer together. And Black China tried to play it off at first and act like she was an unbothered ass bitch. But honey, her true colors came out today because Black China took to her social media page and she basically posted a broken heart emoji. Yes, she has confirmed that she's been dumped at the tender age of damn near 30 by an 18-year-old kid, okay? By a kid that's literally a year older than my son. Basically dumped her. Now this just goes to show you that it doesn't matter how big your titties are, how much shit you get injected into your ass. Isn't it strange that women like Black China and Amber Rose can't seem to keep a man? It doesn't matter if the man is old, young, rich, famous, low key, high key, they cannot seem to keep men, okay? That just goes to show that all the fake shit that they promote and all the, you know, I'm a proud slut and you know, the slut walk and all that shit, it just goes to show that it's all a facade and at the end of the day, if everything was so sweet and everything was so pristine, why is it that neither one of these women can keep a man? Like period. But who the hell gets dumped by 18 year old in 2018, okay? Only in Black China's world. So that's why she made this episode of I Don't Give a Shit News, okay? In another episode of I Don't Give a Shit News, we're going to talk about the whole T.I. and Tiny situation. Y'all have been blowing me up wanting me to talk about this. At this point in time, I don't know what else to say, okay? I don't feel bad for Tiny like I told you on Instagram because Tiny has been a walking doormat for T.I. for years. And it doesn't matter how much you know she gets upset and likes comments, she's not going to change. But let me go ahead and kind of break everything down to y'all. So if you guys don't know, back in May, honey, Mr. Fake Woke T.I. himself was on this whole crusade to get this restaurant called Houston shut down in Atlanta. And so he was really upset because three black women, they were drug and they were disrespected. And, you know, this security guard was a bitch ass dude for doing what he did to them. And I remember watching all this play out because I refused to do a video on it because T.I. just irks me. Everything about him just comes off as like just really fake. OK, so I remember watching this like, why is he so pressed? Like, people go through injustice all the time. Where was he when the two black men were getting kicked out of Starbucks? He didn't really say a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? But with this Houston situation, he was a bit too damn pressed, okay? Go ahead and check out this news clip really quick and then check out T.I.'s response and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my comments. You're gonna go to jail. A dramatic video at an Atlanta restaurant goes viral and is now getting national attention. Three women claim an off-duty Atlanta police officer working security at the Houston's restaurant manhandled them on Mother's Day. In the end, the women were the ones arrested, but tonight their attorneys have called for disciplinary action, if not termination. Now, Fox Eyes' Patty Pan has more, including reaction from the rapper T.I. You don't put your hands on no woman, man. You ain't no police. You's a coward. Rapper T.I. took to Instagram to voice his anger at what happened at a Houston's restaurant. This time, three women allege an off-duty Atlanta police officer working security at the Peachtree Road location roughed them up on Mother's Day. Why are not holding Who's anybody? That? Come on. Come on. I'm anymore. calling the police. You got me really? Uh, that's not I'm nice, calling sir. the police. Let go of her. This is cell phone video from one of the three women. You are assaulting an officer right no, now. No, you need to I'm get up of these women. According to the police report, obtained by Fox 5, the women came into the restaurant after it closed and asked to use the ladies' room. The report says a shift manager had allegedly asked the ladies to leave the bathroom twice, but they did not want to come out. The security guard claims he asked them repeatedly to leave, but they ignored him and even laughed at him. That's when the guard says one of the restaurant managers opened the back door and the security guard grabbed one of the women's wrists. At no point should an officer strike an individual who's not using any force against him uh, the way he struck these these individuals. Atlanta police arrested Epperson, Brittany Lucio, and Erica Walker on charges of criminal trespass following the incident. But attorney Gerald Griggs, who represents two of the three women, has a different story. The attorney says the women had only been in the bathroom seven to ten minutes before the officer showed up. The police officer, off-duty police officer, came into the restroom uh, and grabbed Miss Lucio 
and took her from the restroom to the back door and put her in the bushes. He says these are pictures of just some of the injuries his clients suffered that night. Mr. Griggs tells us that his clients want the charges against them dropped. They also want Atlanta police to hold an internal investigation into the officer's actions that night, and they want Houston's, the restaurant, to look into the actions of their employees that night. Reporting in Atlanta, I'm Patty Pan, Fox 5. Why, why is Houston's being shut down? Why can't we get Spanish dip? Well, because they've uh, discriminated against many, many, many different people they have. Uh, discriminatory policies and, you know, they have histories of discrimination, even legally. Oh, not the employees yet quit. That's good, man. That's good. We will not tolerate profiling and, 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 and we, will not, we will not tolerate discrimination and, I mean, our dollar. Our dollar is powerful. You don't respect us, that's your business, but you will respect this bankroll. That's what I'm saying, man. All right, so you guys just saw the news clip, and you guys also saw T.I.'s response during the time that the whole Houston thing was going down. So then what ended up happening is that earlier this week, T.I. was caught backstage with actress Asia Epperson, and basically he was smacking her on her ass, honey. He was smacking it, smacking it, rubbing it down, okay? Okay, he wasn't doing all that, but he did smack her on the ass. And last time I checked, Asia wasn't his damn wife, okay? Okay. So while he was busy smacking her ass in front of these low-key fans who were recording him, they ended up sending it to the shade room and then all hell broke loose, okay? So now, I wanted to wait to see how everything played out. So of course, Mushmouth T.I., he's talking, and he's basically saying that, you know, at the end of the day, you know, he's going to be there, he's going to do what he got to do, he's going to be there with his family, but he also admitted that his other kids, the one that he has by Tiny, they're not fooling with him right now, okay? So this is what he posted on Father's Day. Go ahead and check this out. Thank you. Okay, Everybody want to see you. I want to see Major and King. Well, Major and King with yeah. their mama, man. I want and they ain't rocking with me. I ain't got nothing to do with you. You want to see me? Huh? I'll be here. All right, but just hold up. Hold tight. Hold tight. Hold tight. Hold tight. Hey, hey, look. No matter what, bro, wherever you at, I don't give a damn about that gossip y'all talking, man. Anytime anybody need me, I'm there. It don't matter. For who or for what. Anytime anybody need me, I'm always there. Anybody? Mo Gibbs! Ah! We got Mo Gibbs! All right, so you guys just saw T.I.'s fake woke message, basically trying to shame Tiny and saying, I don't care about the gossip. Whenever somebody needs me, I'm there. Well, how about you being there for your wife, okay? How about you being there for her, and how about you stop slinging your peeing all over Atlanta? Anyhow, in other news, Asia Epperson is now speaking out, and basically this is what she wants you guys to know. So Asia says, people always want to put a 10 onto a 2 and then make something out of nothing. Ain't nobody got time for that. Then she goes on to say, trust me, I have better things to do than read comments from strangers that know nothing about me. Then she goes on to say, like read my three scripts for my three new shows. Anywho, carry on. All right, y'all just heard me read that damn bullshit. Why do people feel like they can feed folks shit and then call it sugar? Nobody gives a fuck if you're booked and busy. That's what you're supposed to do, bitch. You're an actress, okay? You should be booked and busy. And she's a beautiful girl. So my thing is this. If you're not pressed and you're not bothered and you don't feel the need to, you know, read comments from strangers, then who are you responding to? Because people who aren't pressed and bothered and who don't care what strangers have to say about them, they wouldn't be posting that shit on their Snapchat. So obviously you are pressed. You're very bothered, and nobody gives a flying fuck if you're booked, okay? Because at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, you're still a side piece, and you are basically blasted in front of the world, and you better hope that your acting jobs don't start drying up because it says a lot about your character, like your literal character in real life. It says a lot about that, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody knows that T.I. is with Tiny, so what I find really funny is how hard he was going at this Houston restaurant and trying to get them shut down and everything else. So my question is, was he fucking her?
before the situation or was it the damn Instagram video that somehow connected them? And I also find it funny that he's following her on social media, but he's not following his wife, okay? <laughs> So now Tiny had something to say, but of course, like the timid little girl that she is, instead of her speaking her piece and being grown, she decided to post an Instagram video of herself, you know, looking sexy and showing some, you know, skin or whatever. And then she decided to go through all these comments on her page and basically like every single comment. I'm gonna go ahead and show you that right here. Go ahead and check this out. All right, so you guys just saw those comments that Tamika was busy liking. My thing is, I find it funny that she's only liking specific comments. I didn't see where she liked anything where people were telling her ass to divorce T.I. because he keeps making her look like a stupid idiot, okay? And this is why on Instagram I said I don't feel bad for her at all. Tiny has allowed herself to be a doormat to T.I., okay? She opened up Pandora's box when she allowed him to have threesomes and bring other people into the bedroom. And then he went from that to just basically, you know, just cheating and doing him. So to him, he doesn't need people to be in the bedroom with her. He's just going to go out and go do his own thing. And now she doesn't like that. And this is why, again, I always tell young girls, stop with this whole ride or die mentality. You know what I mean? Because while she's getting older and she got all these kids by T.I., it's going to be very hard for her to move on whereas he can get a new girl tomorrow you know what i'm saying he's getting older too but he can always get a new little young girl tomorrow she's not going to be in the same boat and you know all this time that she spent and you know literally wasted running behind ti and his antics and holding him down he has absolutely no respect for her at all and that shit disgusts me but again if she likes it i love it i'm gonna tell y'all like this she's not going to divorce him she's not going anywhere she has become complacent and she's cool with it so like i said if she likes it i love it i will not be giving her any advice because when she went through all this bullshit last year and claimed that she was going to divorce him after the whole Bernice Burgo situation. Social media went hard for Tiny. Folks had her back. Folks drug Bernice. Folks went in on Bernice only for Tiny to get back with T.I. So in my personal opinion, don't waste your time. Don't waste your energy. Let her and T.I. deal with their bullshit situation because at the end of the day, ain't either one of them leaving each other, okay? And in the meantime, once again, Tiny's sitting here looking crazy as hell with egg on her face. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire messy ass situation once again concerning Tiny, T.I., and his damn side chick trying to drag people on social media. Meanwhile, in the same breath, claiming that she's not reading comments and she don't give a shit but she's out here writing books and showing off scripts and shit obviously you're pressed and you're bothered okay boo thanks that's all i have for y'all honey and i don't give a shit news let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.